You've just landed on the video that unpacks one of the most extraordinary events of this decade, the total solar eclipse of 2026. If you're here to understand what makes this eclipse so rare and how to fully experience it, you're exactly where you need to be. For just a few minutes in 2026, the skies will defy logic and daylight will vanish across countries as if time paused. You'll discover where and when this eclipse will be visible, how long totality lasts, which cities fall under the moon's shadow, how to safely watch or photograph it, and why this event is so scientifically important. A total eclipse completely blocks the sun, briefly turning day into night, while an annular eclipse leaves a glowing ring of sunlight visible around the moon. On Wednesday, August 12, 2026, a total solar eclipse will grace the skies. During this extraordinary event, the moon will pass directly between the Earth and the sun, fully covering the sun's bright disk. This alignment will bring darkness to parts of the world in broad daylight. The journey of totality will begin over the remote and frozen stretches of northern Russia, casting its shadow over regions rarely touched by solar eclipses. As the moon moves along its celestial track, the shadow will cross the icy waters of the Arctic Ocean, sweeping toward Greenland, where the landscape will briefly plunge into darkness. The eclipse will then glide across Iceland, a country perfectly positioned to enjoy totality, particularly in its western and coastal areas. Next, the path will dip into Europe, striking northern Spain, where cities like A Coruna, Leon, Oviedo and Burgos will experience the spectacular transformation of daylight into twilight. The event concludes in parts of northeastern Portugal and the Balearic Islands, where the eclipse ends its dramatic display. This broad arc across continents offers an unprecedented viewing opportunity. The northern reaches of Russia will witness the beginning of the eclipse's path, although it remains challenging for most people to access. Greenland, a vast and ice-covered expanse, follows in the shadows trail, where a fleeting period of totality offers scientists and adventurers a rare chance to observe the eclipse in one of Earth's most untouched landscapes. Iceland plays a central role with its western regions, especially the Snæfellsnes Peninsula and the Westfjords, being ideal spots for observing totality. Reykjavik, Grundarfjordur and Reykjanesbær are among the cities that will fall under the moon's shadow. Spain becomes a hub for eclipse viewing with several large cities in the path of totality, including Oviedo, A Coruna, Burgos, Leon, Zaragoza and Palma de Mallorca. These cities will see skies darken for over a minute, offering a dramatic contrast to the summer daylight. Portugal's involvement is extremely narrow but historically significant. Only the northeastern border towns of Guadramil and Rio de Onor fall within the eclipse's path, with totality there lasting mere seconds. These brief glimpses in Portugal still mark a powerful moment for eclipse observers. Together, these countries present a mix of rural and urban settings, providing both scientific institutions and general viewers with unforgettable experiences. While totality is reserved for a narrow path, millions more will witness a partial solar eclipse across a much larger area. Europe will be bathed in varying degrees of twilight as the moon covers part of the sun in cities far from the center line. London will see the sun obscured by about 15%, while Paris will see nearly 25% hidden. Berlin and Rome will experience 20 to 25% coverage, giving residents a sense of the celestial motion above. In North Africa, countries like Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia will notice a dimming in the sky. Western Asia will also enjoy partial views, from Turkey to parts of the Middle East. Across the Atlantic, Canada will experience the eclipse with varying degrees. Ottawa, for instance, will witness around 26% coverage. In the United States, New York City, Chicago and Minneapolis will reach its peak partial eclipse in the afternoon, while Seattle and Anchorage will see a partial eclipse in the morning. This widespread visibility makes it possible for millions to engage with the eclipse even outside the total path. Proper viewing glasses will allow everyone to witness the moon's silent journey across the face of the sun and its longest moments. The total solar eclipse will last about 2 minutes and 18 seconds. This maximum duration can be observed from certain areas in northern Spain and parts of Iceland. Other locations slightly off-center will still enjoy totality, though for shorter periods. 
Maximum eclipse will generally occur in the late afternoon to early evening, depending on your location in Europe, just as the sun begins its descent. To help viewers plan for this cosmic event, NASA and timeanddate.com offer real-time interactive maps showing the eclipse's path across the globe. These tools provide exact local times, safety tips, and weather forecasts. They also include simulations so users can preview what the eclipse will look like from their city or region, adding excitement and confidence in preparation. This eclipse offers a valuable opportunity for studying the solar corona, the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere, which is usually hidden by its intense light. Observing the corona helps scientists better understand solar wind, coronal mass ejections, and how solar activity affects Earth's magnetic field. Researchers will also test new imaging technology and gather data on how the sun influences satellite systems. For physicists, eclipses like this recall the famous 1919 eclipse that helped confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity as starlight bending around the sun was recorded for the first time. Educational groups will also engage in public outreach, organizing eclipse events and explaining the physics behind these celestial alignments. The 2026 eclipse serves as both a learning moment and a dress rehearsal for the longer total eclipse expected in 2027. Watching the eclipse safely requires special eye protection. Certified eclipse glasses that meet ISO 12312-2 international standards must be used to view any stage other than totality. Looking at the sun without protection, even for a second, can cause permanent eye damage. Telescopes, cameras or binoculars must be fitted with approved solar filters. Homemade filters, dark sunglasses or unfiltered cameras are unsafe. In schools and public viewings, organizers will distribute proper glasses and educate audiences on safe viewing techniques. Parents should always supervise children during the eclipse. When the moon fully covers the sun during totality, it is safe to look directly for those brief moments. But the moment totality ends, protection must be worn again. Weather is a crucial factor for eclipse viewing. While Iceland can be unpredictable with cloud cover, northern Spain has a higher likelihood of clear skies. Cities like Burgos and Oviedo are among the more reliable locations. Popular travel destinations for eclipse viewing include Iceland's Snæfellsnes Peninsula, which is, you know, famous for its dramatic landscapes and those accessible dark skies. Over in Spain, cities like A Coruña, Palma de Mallorca and Zaragoza are already gearing up for an influx of visitors. It's definitely advised to book transportation and accommodations well in advance if you want to secure a spot in these high demand areas. Around the eclipse path, local governments, schools, and science institutions will be hosting viewing events, lectures, and hands-on activities. Plus, cultural celebrations are expected to go along with the eclipse, especially in Spain and Iceland. Public observatories will offer telescope access and, you know, experts to explain what's happening. These moments strengthen community interest in science and bring families together to share the wonder of the cosmos. In Iceland, totality will be visible in Reykjavik at 5.48 p.m. local time, lasting about one minute. Grundafjordur will experience totality at 5.46 p.m. for nearly one minute and 52 seconds. Reykjansbær's total eclipse will also begin at 5.48 p.m. and last for about one minute and 39 seconds. In Spain, Oviedo will experience totality at 8.27 p.m. cest for one minute and 48 seconds. Gijon at 8.26 p.m. for 1 minute and 45 seconds. Santander at 8.26 p.m. for 1 minute and 2 seconds. And Burgos at 8.29 p.m. for about 1 minute and 10 seconds. Palma de Mallorca's totality will occur around 8.34 p.m. and last for about 1 minute. Northeastern Portugal's border villages of Guadramil and Rio de Honor will experience a brief totality at around 7.25 p.m. west but only for a few fleeting seconds. These local times allow residents and travelers to prepare for when to look up and witness this breathtaking alignment. In Canada, Ottawa will see the peak of the partial eclipse at 2.19 p.m. EDT with 26% of the sun obscured. In the United States, New York City will observe a partial eclipse from 12.51 p.m. to 2.44 p.m. EDT with the peak at 1.48 p.m. Chicago's partial eclipse will peak at 1.21 p.m. CDT and Minneapolis at 12.13 p.m. CDT. 
Seattle will experience the eclipse from 9.15 to 10.42 a.m. PDT, peaking at 9.58 a.m. Anchorage will see the eclipse begin at 7.34 a.m. AKDT. In the United Kingdom, London will observe a partial eclipse between 7.43 and 8.30 p.m. BST, peaking at 8.07 p.m. Paris will see the sun partially covered from 8.10 to 8.45 p.m. CEST peaking at 8.25 p.m. Berlin's partial eclipse will peak at 8.35 p.m. and Rome's at 8.45 p.m. Though not under totality, these cities will still experience a noticeable dip in daylight, providing a dramatic visual show for observers with proper safety gear. Capturing a solar eclipse with a camera can be an unforgettable experience, but it really does require the right precautions and tools. First and foremost, never point your camera or smartphone at the sun without a certified solar filter over the lens. Just like your eyes, your camera sensor can be damaged by direct sunlight. Use a tripod to keep your shots stable and try a remote shutter or timer to reduce vibration. Set your camera to manual mode so you can adjust exposure settings as lighting changes during the eclipse. For DSLR users, a telephoto lens between 300mm and 600mm is ideal to get close-up shots of the sun. If you're using a smartphone, clip-on solar filters are available and can greatly improve the image. During totality, when the sun is fully covered, you can safely remove the solar filter and capture the sun's corona, but be ready to put it back the moment the bright sun reappears. Practice your camera settings before the day of the eclipse so you're ready when the moment arrives. Take test shots of the moon at night to simulate eclipse brightness levels. And remember, the experience is fleeting. So snap a few pictures, but also take time to simply watch and enjoy this rare celestial alignment. With proper planning and safety, your photos will be as memorable as the event itself. One of the most famous scientific discoveries linked to a solar eclipse came in 1919, when astronomers used an eclipse to confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity. During the total eclipse, they observed how starlight bent as it passed near the sun, proving that gravity could actually warp space-time. Since then, eclipses have played a key role in confirming predictions about the sun-space weather and, well, our place in the universe. Modern eclipses continue to be opportunities for testing new telescopes, camera filters and atmospheric sensors. They also unite amateur astronomers and curious observers under a single sky, fostering both wonder and learning. As we approach the 2026 eclipse, new generations may find inspiration in the same cosmic shadows that guided great discoveries of the past. The total solar eclipse of August 12, 2026, promises to be a breathtaking event across continents. From the icy landscapes of Iceland to the sun-soaked cities of Spain, millions will look skyward for a moment of awe. With preparation and curiosity, this rare celestial alignment becomes an unforgettable experience. Just a quick note, disclaimer. As an Amazon and other affiliate, I earn from qualifying purchases at no additional cost to you. So, do you like the video and want to make videos like this yourself? Well, you can turn text into stunning videos in just seconds. Give it a go with a free trial and honestly unlock your creative potential. You know, you can create even better videos than mine. Honestly, there's no editor required at all. Just check out the link in the video description below. Got questions about where or when to watch? Just ask in the comments and we'll guide you. And if there's a topic you want us to explore next, let us know. Your idea could shape our next video. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the solar eclipse. Please like and share the video and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.